Hey. Good morning, legends. Welcome to day eight of the 10K a day walk for mental health awareness. And today is Sunday, and that is Sunday's weighing. So last week, when we did this walk, we weighed in at 14 stone, 11.4 pounds. So a bit later on in the video, I'll tell you what we weighed in at this morning and surprising results. Just with a bit of intermittent fasting and walking, obviously, 10K a day. So we'll let you know about that shortly. But today's walk, I'll overlay some video now. Starting off at Spike Island, down in Widnes. Um, home to the famous Spike Island concert by the Stone Roses. Went to, I went to a little concert there when I was a 15 year old lad as well. Radio one thing, but yeah. Starting off down there, then I'm on a straight path along the canal uh, to the Mersey Tavern, or the Ferry Tavern, the Ferry Tavern. Then I'll be hooking a left and making my way inland back home. Bit of a longer walk today, but it's all good. Oh, Bobby and me dad there. Started off my little walk today with me. We are 1.7 kilometers in. So I'm going for another little longish one today. So yeah, we have been intermittent fasting most days, as long as we can, and eating quite healthy. I had one bad day this week. Uh, not a bad food day, I ate quite well. But I went on up till the evening. It was uh, Wednesday night. My day's off on a Thursday and I had a few beers and I drink cider, which is the worst and it? it's dead sugary. So I did do that, but you know, next day I went out and did my 10K walk and I ate well and we got straight back on track. So we'll let you know shortly what that equates to weight wise because obviously like I said before this challenge was to test me mentally and physically and it wasn't about losing weight but my idea was if I am intermittent fasting and eating healthy would the extra walking make a dramatic change to weight loss over a week and the results are in legend and we'll bring them to you very shortly So this for a little stealth stealth camp spot. <laughs> Good work, honey. I do a stealth camp. Probably bail though, me knowing my nervous ticker. Panic and bail out. Right, go on, I'll stop being a tease now. I'll put it up here, the My Fitness Pal and my weight photos from this week. So, like I said, last Sunday I started off at 14 stone, 11 pounds four. And today, on the stepped on the scales this morning, I was 14 stone, 7.2. So, a 4.2 pound decrease. So I've lost 4.2 pounds in a week, and that's intermittent fasting, eating healthy and walking. Now don't get me wrong, I've had a couple of treats in there. I've had a drip, bit of a boozy night, and I've had a couple of, you know, I had an egg bacon sandwich uh, in work one morning. Didn't fast that day. Um, and a few other bits, but in general, Overall, I've had really healthy. I also had a meal out with Lily. We went to Pesto, and we had three dishes and a pint of Peroni. But just counting calories, you know what I mean? 
makes all the difference. I didn't eat a lot that day before that. So, you know, it goes to show that it really does work. All the beautiful little moor hens are out this morning. Love them. Really cute, aren't they? With the little death masks on. So yeah, four point something pound. It's impressive, isn't it, in a week? I mean, some people will say that's too much. You know, they recommend you lose about two pound a week steady. But I have a high body fat percentage, so it's bound to drop. That intermittent fasting and reduced calories, all it is, is my body burning fat instead of glycogen for energy. So, do I recommend intermittent fasting? 100%. You know, I've done it, I've done it before and it's just skipping breakfast. You'll get people coming at you, breakfast the most important meal of the day. It's not. It's not at all. I mean, don't get me wrong. You eat breakfast if you want to, that's fine. I mean, I do it every now and again, if I fancy it. I like, I love a fry up, you know what I mean? And then I'll just fit that into my calories for the day then. So I'll count all the calories I've had in my fry up and keep inside my goal. But if I had a massive fry up, I'd probably only eat that all day anyway. But to me, intermittent, intermittent fasting works and it's sustainable with my lifestyle. So I do that and I find it a useful tool, but it's all trial and error, I suppose. You need to try it for yourself and see if it works for you. So people might say, oh yeah, that's all right. If you've got two hours a day spare to yourself, you know what I mean, to go and walk 10K. But you know, Depends what you want to do, doesn't it? Now, I start work at 4 a.m. I'm finished for lunchtime. I come home, I'll eat, and then I go and do my walk for a few hours. And you can walk it as fast or slow as you want. I've done ones that were an hour and 45 minutes, and I've done ones that were two and a half hours. You know, it doesn't really matter how long it takes you. You So, you might work nine till five, you could do seven, eight, nine, have a shower, go bed. You know what I mean? You fit, you can fit a walk into every day. Just don't watch the tele, telly, you know what I mean? Don't doom scroll on TikTok and Insta and that and go for a walk instead. It is doable, it's just priorities and if you want to do it and if you've got the motivation to do it, you know what I mean? So it's all right me telling, I'm not preaching here to anyone to do anything i'm doing this for my mental health because it's really helping me you know what i mean i'm definitely a lot better than i was last sunday so obviously since last sunday walking 10 kilometers every day my weight's down my mood is up on a whole i've had ups and downs this week although things are of our control exterior stuff happens doesn't it stuff out of your control that brings you down sometimes and obviously you have stuff that goes on that brings you up as well lovely moments with lovely people or whatnot so <clears throat> it's the rough with the smooth the ups and the downs that's the way life is three miles to witness lock so we're riding the ups and downs at the minute but there's more ups than downs after i've started this challenge which i'm really happy with um, i'm trying to keep the alcohol to a minimum i'm going to a christening today which i'm looking forward to seeing my friends but you know will i have a drink there might have a couple of guinness maybe i don't know but i'm gonna have a roast chicken dinner as well today which will be chef's kiss bone apple teeth on it so watch my beloved red men at half past four so yeah I'm gonna try not to drink today though, that's the target, because I wanna to continue to feel fresh and healthy. I got up on Thursday and I did my 10K after I had a beer on the Wednesday night, and I felt like crap when I went out. By the time I'd finished it, I felt sound, but I did not wanna go, I felt like rubbish. So I know that drinking alcohol does nothing to improve my life. It makes me feel terrible, 
makes me fat, makes me bloated, makes me unfit. So why do we do it? Social, innit? It's like a social construct, like a social contract with your mates. If you're going out to meet your friends, you have to have a pint. Well, we're going to try and cut back on that. I mean, I'm going on holiday, as I keep mentioning, every single day. And I will have a drink there with my friends, with my family, my daughter. I will have a drink, but maybe I'll be more mindful. Maybe I'll be demure and mindful. And uh, not drink as much as I normally would. The target is to not get drunk. How about that? Right, we're leaving the River Mersey now. The Mersey Tavern Pub here. Or the Ferry Tavern Pub, should I say. I always say that wrong. It's the Ferry Tavern Pub. Bell Taboozer, if you know, you know. Only open on certain days though, so we're off over the bridge. So today, I'm 8.2 kilometers into today's walk. Not be far now, obviously. <laughs> But um, going to a christening, and it's currently 10:30. I've got to be there at 12:15. I've got to get home, get a shower, write a card out, bish bash bosh, and get there. So I am getting picked up on the route to make the walk a little shorter. But it's over. It's all going to be over 10k. I'll put it in here now. So there you go. That's it. I tell you what, I'll stick in here now. Monday to Sundays. Uh, exercise and distances off Strava. So there you go. Right, as always, look after yourselves, be kind, make memories, not mess. And I'll see you tomorrow's Monday, mate.